Live coverage of the 2018 FIFA World Cup continues tomorrow on Fox and FS1. Hello everybody, welcome back to Finley Stadium after five games away on the road for Chattanooga FC. We're back home and it feels good. I was talking to the players before the game and they are all very pleased to be home and not sitting on a bus for hours and hours. And uh, I know you're all glad that we're uh, broadcasting again from beautiful Finley Stadium on a gorgeous Wednesday night here in Chattanooga. Uh, got to say a quick thank you to Fox 61, home of the uh, 2018 World Cup from Russia broadcasting all the games in HD and they are sponsoring the stream tonight so thank you Fox 61 and thank you for showing all the World Cup games it's been a great time we'll talk about the World Cup later of course I know that's on every soccer fans mind right now uh, but tonight we'll go back to the MPSL and we will cover Chattanooga FC your very own boys in blue against the Atlanta Silverbacks who've come up from uh, good old downtown Atlanta made that short two hour drive to be here tonight uh, games are back ready to get on the way the players have warmed up and it's pretty good on the field tonight I was down there earlier talking to the coach and uh, temperature's not too bad we had a little bit of cloud keep it cooler and it was uh, a good night for soccer but as I said the boys are pumped up after being away for so long and be glad to play at home in front of the home fans so uh, should be a cracking game tonight and uh, one that Chattanooga wants to win for sure 
good results on the road for Chattanooga and uh, nothing too bad apart from that loss at New Orleans in the last game otherwise a bunch of draws and some victories and uh, lots of points on the board uh, what that's done on the table it's really shaken it out a little bit and uh, it's put Chattanooga second on 15 points but with eight games played so they got a couple of games in hand against the teams who are right around them but to give you an idea how close it is in the NPSL conference and it really is tight this year uh, we've got New Orleans on top with 16 points Chattanooga and Asheville right behind them on 15 under them the Atlanta Silverbacks on 14 and next to them in into Nashville on 13 and the George Revolution on 12 so only a, uh, a four point spread between the top six teams there so it's really tight right now and uh, of course we've still got uh, Knoxville and uh, Asheville sorry Greenville bringing up the rear of the other uh, table but uh, the top six teams are what interest us the most right now and all of them looking to score that important conference win and going on into the playoffs from there for the uh, Southern Championship so uh, lots to play for tonight for both teams Atlanta want to get back on top and uh, Chattanooga certainly do after uh, succumbing to the Jesters uh, on Wednesday night so uh, should be great crowd still trickling in tonight weather's perfect so uh, no reason not to be here and uh, getting out from in front of the TV or something else and being here to watch the game so uh, we'll be getting underway shortly counting down towards 7.30 kickoff thereabouts um, so uh, if you are, can't make this game tonight never fear there is a game Saturday you can come back Saturday at 7.30 back to gorgeous glamorous Finley Stadium and at 7.30 you can watch Chattanooga taking on the George Revolution and then if you can't get to that one we're going away to the Atlanta Silverback for the return leg of this game on the 27th on the Wednesday and then on Saturday the 30th of June we got Greenville coming here so uh, Greenville out for uh, trying to get some points back off us after losing at home so uh, another reason to come down but really there's no reason not to come down really there's a, a package you can get from Puckett's downtown our official barbecue sponsor and they have a package of tickets you can get for uh, four four for 40 bucks plus uh, I think there's something free involved in that a free t-shirt or something too so uh, lots of good reasons to go and get one of those packages and uh, see some games on the cheap for the end of the season so uh, lots happening I've got the lineups of the team, we'll give you those in a moment. But uh, I'll give you a break for listening to me and say hi to my good friend Keon Rose. How are you, Keon? I'm doing pretty well, Simon. How have you been since the last couple of games? Well, uh, fortunately, I haven't been too deprived of, of any soccer. I've been able to do the women's game, so oh, right. I've, I've been here even though the men haven't been. And how are the women playing? I've heard they played pretty good. They've been playing really well. They're still undefeated. Uh, no, no losses or, or ties this season. Uh, at the top of the division, they're one of six winless teams in the entire league so they're they're doing pretty well they're off to a great start oh that's really cool that is really cool i hope you folks have been watching some of those games the ladies team is playing very well as keon said and uh, always enjoys your support so uh, if you can't make the men's games the women's games are just about as exciting as the men's i'm thinking if not probably better <laughs> I, mean, I mean they've been they've been just as exciting this year and we've been treated to some really really good soccer great stuff great stuff and i hope you've been watching the world cup i'm pretty sure you have I have, yes. You have? Okay, yes, check, absolutely. Just yeah. go and check that. <laughs> yeah, I missed, yeah, I missed a couple of, uh, of games over the last couple of days, but right. uh, the start of the World Cup, I made sure to catch that. And um, yeah. my family's from South America, so I've been watching. Oh, wow, well, you've been enjoying that. Um, but yeah, other than uh, that, yeah, excellent. It's, been, it, it's really been good. It's been really good. A lot of surprise results in the World Cup this year. Absolutely, yeah. And it uh, means the big teams have got to play harder and not just take it for granted. So... Uh, I mean, Brazil getting a tie and Russia getting that 5-0 start in the first game. It's Mexico been beating Germany. Bit, that's really cool. That Mexico beating one. Germany. So lots, lots going on in the World Cup. And I know folks are watching that as well as this. So um, do not have to bore you with the results of that? Because I'm pretty sure I'm talking to soccer fans who are as nuts about it as we are. So. Right. <laughs> but it's been great having that going on with uh, CFC having a good season too. So uh, we're really... Uh, these, these World Cup years are always great for soccer in the States. They always encourage people to come and watch more games and to just, you know, appreciate what's going on and see it at a higher level and really understand, you know, how the pros do it and how Chattanooga isn't too far below that level at times. They're, they're pretty close to their level. 
Yeah, no, they, they play at an incredibly high level, and Chattanooga FC is a very interesting team because of the amount of players that they have from all over the world mm -hmm. um, that gives them a very unique playing style that's very fun to watch. Right, right. And Chattanooga's always had international players, so it's always been a, a very diverse team, I've found. And it, it's a good way to make, you know, friends and contacts all over the world from, from following Chattanooga. So I think that's a cool thing. Uh, one of the great things about sport in America is so diverse, it's always interesting. So, well, the teams are getting ready to come on. We've got the uh, Team Yellow for the referees up front. And uh, it's like Chattanooga in the uh, dark blue shirts, Lanza in the white. So it should be fairly easy to tell apart. And uh, they're about ready to come out and say hello to the fans who are uh, still coming in and the hooligans here making a ton of noise too a couple of new flags down there and uh, they're getting ready to welcome a team home and uh, show them how much they've been missed I think really Yeah, there's like Chad Nugram in the dark blue shirts with light blue shorts and dark socks. Lantern in the white shirts and black shorts and red socks. So at all three levels, easy to tell apart. And that's how they uh, they like to do the teams in any soccer league is to have all the different three levels of the clothing to be separate. So you don't have people with, you know, matching socks or matching shorts. They always be different. So that's how they like to do it. And this is a perfectly good example of that. It really does help to tell everybody apart with really. it does and you can see even sometimes on the, the tv if you've got both sides wearing white socks or dark socks it's kind of hard to tell who's going in for the tackle so it does make a difference if you're trying to tell who's doing what or watching one of those dreaded var replays <laughs> yeah and if you're a player a lot of times you're, you're looking at everybody's feet and their, their mm -hmm. legs so that that also helps because sometimes you're not really looking well, at that's it. it's one of those things people don't appreciate about the game sometimes but it, uh, it really does make a difference so so we'll uh, run through the teams quickly. Uh, I'll give you Chattanooga. And we're starting off with uh, Phil D'Amico in goal. Um, Sanchez number four in the back playing. They're playing a 4-2-4. Four, four. So we've got Sanchez, Sorinio Hascheck, Emerson Lima, Damian Guona. And midfield, Juan Hernandez, of course, and uh, Daniel, Daniel, hang on, lost his name. <laughs> I've gone blank. He's going to kill me when he finds out after the game. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to kill me. Daniel Valenciano, thank you. Good grief. Uh, then we got uh, number eight, uh, Costa. Wow, Costa. On the left wing, Caleb Cole in the middle, number 19. Number 16, Santiago Moore on the right wing. And up front, the lone striker, of course, good old Charlie Clark, who I watched the England game with on Monday afternoon. And Charlie and I really got into it. Good times. So... Keon, do you want to run us through Atlanta? I bet, I bet that was great, but... Uh, it was uh, stressful. Give me some grey hairs. <laughs> so I'm going to try and work my way through this Atlanta starting lineup. All right, sir. Thank they've, you. They've got an international roster, too. Let's just say that. So in goal for them is number 43, Peo Blachon. Then their back line is number 15, Abdul Rahman Bangura. Number 31, Kevin Isahaku. Number 8, uh, Abraham Lansana. And number four, Abrima and Chi Damfa. The midfielders for Atlanta Silverbacks are number six, Keba Demba. Number 20, Dionysius Harmon. Number 12, Niambi Jabang. Or check that. Uh, number five, Aaron Walker. Number three, Manuel More Moreno Yesti. And their forwards are number 12, Niambi Jabang. And number 11, Sheriff Suma. All right. So. There's your two teams. We'll bring you all the changes as they come in, but those are the starting 11s. And uh, so we're getting about ready to go. We'll have the uh, national anthem in a second, and then we'll, uh, we'll get down to it and get in some, some great soccer tonight.
we're underway in a moment, folks, and uh, good crowds tonight. Looking at least two to three thousand people come out this beautiful evening, and uh, I'm sure we're looking forward to a great game. Keelan, any predictions for tonight, or uh, gonna wait and see what happens? Have you got any? Any strong predictions tonight on this one? Well, I feel like this is not a very strong prediction, but it's a prediction nonetheless. I think Charlie Clark's going to score a goal. I, I, okay. He's just one of those guys. He's so fun to watch play, and he's right. incredibly gifted and, and such a great goal scorer. Um, okay. I feel like it's not much of a limb to go out on to say that he's going to score a goal, <laughs> but I I can feel like I can say that with a fair degree of confidence. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good one there. I go with that, too. And... Um, I'm going to predict that uh, Chattanooga will take it by at least two goals, but uh, and then I don't know how many yellow cards we'll have. We'll wait and see on that. So that's what I don't want to predict, but it will give you a few. Um, so hopefully no own goals. Um, we've seen a lot of those at the World Cup, and uh, I don't know if you knew this little fact, but own goal is the leading scorer at the World Cup right now. There's been five own goals so far in the World wow. Cup. Wow. So far. That is so, unbelievable. So it's his own goal, then Ronaldo, then um, the guy from Russia. <laughs> it's like, really? So hopefully own goal will get the golden boot this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that. That'd be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we're looking forward to some golden boots here too tonight. And uh, hopefully a lot of goals go in Chattanooga's way because uh, they want to get back to winning ways. But I know Atlanta will press them. And they'll make them work for it if they do, because Atlanta they want to get back to the top of the table, um, get above New Orleans. And uh, with Asheville winning last night at uh, International, that puts them above Atlanta too, even though Asheville played two more games. So um, they kind of look at the points rather than the number of games played. That, uh, and CFC still on eight games played along with Atlanta and International, so they've got time to catch up stuff. So I'd say it's still wide open and uh, no team has really streaked away and left the rest behind in this league this year. So uh, good to see it close, but uh, we'd like to see Chattanooga starting to inch away because we're totally biased that way. Right. <laughs> right. So teams is going into the huddle, Atlanta on the pitch and ready to go. They'll be playing from right to left. And uh, Chattanooga getting set to play the other side, of course. Um, not much of an advantage because not really strong sunshine in the keeper's eyes for Atlanta, so uh, fairly well matched and uh, nice, nice temperature out there. Lighting's good. It's not super sunny, so it's it's nice to play tonight. So sure there's lots of energy. Even though the boys are tired from all their long road trips, they're uh, they're still keen to play. They said when they get home to Finland, they get like a boost of energy. And uh, heard that from uh, Emerson Lima and Felipe Oliveira tonight, and they all saying the same thing so I'm very excited so we're about to get going Lance are taking the kick off soccer is underway again at Finley Stadium and we're off Hooligans are a good voice tonight. Of course, some of them travelled all the away games and made a stack of noise, took all the flags and the drums, but uh, they've got their energy back and uh, they're ready to make some more noise here and have it echoing around the stadium, as always. So, and they're trying to press Chattanooga, but uh, Costa making the break, getting away. Trying to go for the first shot of the game. Coming around the attackers, cuts it back in, Atlanta clear it. Just didn't get that pass back into the box right, but uh, showed some dangerous intent there. Chattanooga with the first serious attack of the game. And uh, now going back to focusing on possession too, rather than uh, hoofing it around wildly. But what kind of tone does it set to start the game with a run like that? Well, it just shows your intent to score, and it makes Atlanta, you know, step back and you know be on the back foot a little bit, even though not physically, but mentally. That's a nice touch. Caleb Cole coming down the side. Can he cross it? Again, not a great cross. Costa intercepts it anyway. Cole gets a second chance. Lobbed up, up in the air, and the keeper gathers it in the end. Charlie Clark getting ahead on it, but uh, not enough to uh, 
worry the keeper too much but again that's two chances Chattanooga have had getting in the out of the box and uh, getting the move around and you'll see the players in the changing of it here too because Santiago Moore was in the middle when Charlie was in the wing there and uh, they cover each other very well those two and it's trade places without really thinking about it is that just good teamwork I think it's good teamwork and getting each other's style of play and just both thinking the same thoughts without having to really do a lot of shouting to each other about it they just know they're going to be there so that means one of them can go wide in a different direction and take the marker with them and put the other guy unmarked sometimes anything you can do to draw the marker away is always good trying to string some passes together here trying to get out of their own half a little bit more trying to come down the left wing but Emerson Lehman's right there to clear it he's had a very good season so far at Chattanooga he's been solid in every game he's played and he's still got amazing amounts of energy left <laughs> he's been playing really well and I've seen it from the few games that uh, they've been here that he's started he's uh yeah He's all over the place defensively. Everywhere he, the ball is he, is, he finds a way to be there too. He is. And that's, you know, sign of a great defender. He's just anticipating and uh, contributes every time and plays reliable passes out and doesn't just hoof it and hope he actually uh, aims it for another player. So that's great. It's what you need at the back. Now to going for the long ball, but it's too long. Not yet. Just keeps it in. Trying to string it together, that one creeps out for a throw in the Chattanooga in their own half. Charlie Clark getting the ball, trying to set Caleb Cole off, and Charlie Clark is fouled. And the referee spots that straight away. Chattanooga with the first free kick of the match on the halfway line. to focusing on possession here rather than anything else not uh, letting it get away from them trying for that long ball that's not a great header but uh, Phil D'Amico is there to grab it I'm not sure Anderson Lima knew that uh, that the strike it was right behind him <laughs> bit of a gutsy move there it was a bit it was a little bit but uh, the ambi Javang there just lurking that uh, didn't go for it in the end. And Chattanooga just kind of build it up and get things moving. Not uh, not feeling under pressure too much. Look very relaxed tonight. For a team that's played five games in two weeks, they look very relaxed and fairly pacey. And uh, out for a corner at Chattanooga there. Off the head of Dionysus Harmon. Couldn't uh, keep it in. No. Well, they're giving the goal kick. I that was a headed off the defender. Was I, did I miss that one? I, I don't think so. Oh, they call an offside. Oh, they called an offside. Okay. They're going to call a goal kick. I'm like, that was odd. <laughs> so an offside. Okay. 
so no corner yet. I'm not seeing that land are pushing up a whole lot yet. I'd expect them to come out to uh, try and get the early goal, really. Especially, like you've said before, they're behind in the standings. Well, they're, they're not totally like the bottom of the league, but they could, they want to get back up top and uh, jump up from where they are, and they say this is a good chance to do it, so... And... Costa taken down. forming a wall that's probably not 10 yards away but the referee's not <laughs> making him step back a bit further Chattanooga are going to swing this one in Caleb Cole over it headed in oh right across the goal no one there to make that last touch this really should be putting a land from the back foot and telling them to sharpen up a little bit because uh, that was a goal opportunity went right across there How aggressive Chattanooga's been to start this game. Yes, they have. And we've seen the Silverbacks play here a lot of times. They've been one of the uh, longest running teams in the NBS along with Chattanooga and uh, usually do play a slightly more aggressive, more physical game, but not right now with this current squad. I was expecting a little more aggression at this point in the game. We'll see as it goes on. Again, they're trying that long ball, but uh, throwing your has up to it and gets rid of it. Costa taken down again. He's quite the target, man. They must know he's dangerous and they must have watched the web streams. So at least when there's something Atlanta watched us commenting and doing stream because they know that cost is dangerous. <laughs> right. I mean, it looks <laughs> so like they're uh, after him. It's been uh, good play from Valenciano. Dion Dionysius Harmon that's been colliding with Costa so far along yeah, this game. Yeah, he may have been told to uh, mark him a little bit closely. So, so foul to uh, against Janu because Atlanta taking a free kick. Their first of the game. No, second after the, the offside, but their first rear. Offensive free kick, let's say that. Manuel Yesti is doing the kicking for Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. Yeah. In the box, Hernandez pushed it away. Now to try and get it back in, but it's a little optimistic and. Uh, out for a corner off the Chattanooga defender who tried to shield it out and got a nudge in the back for his troubles. No, in fact they've uh, called that as a goal kick, which I think was the correct the correct call. So Chattanooga bringing it back into play. We don't have Pierre Bouquet playing tonight, of course, after that red card in New Orleans. Uh, uh, do you think that's changing the way the team's going, Keon? Is it? Are they missing Pierre Bouquet or are they still playing about the same? Uh, it looks to me like they're still playing about the same. Um, and you mentioned that, that they look very calm out there. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's just because of the amount of soccer that they've played. Uh, <laughs> oh, just, they're just tired. <laughs> yeah, you, well, I don't even know if it's tiredness so much as you just see, you've seen so many situations that at a certain point, What's actually surprising to you? Well, that's true. There is a point 
as you get more experience in soccer or any sport, you uh, you go, yep, seen that, yep, done that, and you, you do kind of check off the boxes and go, yep, done one of those, done that. So interesting guys. header. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Went back to the keeper, but with uh, Costa lurking, I wouldn't have headed back from there, but there we are. <laughs> Good defense by Valenciano. Mm -hmm, definitely, he's been he's had a good season too. I've enjoyed watching him play this year. A free kick to Atlanta, taking it short, trying to get the quick move going. In the box, and oh, on the end of that one, almost a goal. Yeah, it was dangerous. Yeah, it was dangerous. Uh, Niambi Shaban there was the one kicking it. I thought they were on that one slide by, and then somebody came in the back and Chattanooga should have really shut that one down. That was uh, given away a bit too easily, giving him too much space, I think. But Chattanooga breathe and live again and keep going. And that's the most pressure we've seen out of Atlanta today. Mm -hmm. It is after. Uh, uh, 12 minutes of play, that's, that's uh, their first real strike on goal. Bound to clear in that one. Able to capitalise on it. You know, yesterday with a big right foot on that one too to get rid of it. <laughs> right. He's going to go up and take the throw, or walk up and take the throw. Crowded out there. Nice play, Chattanooga trying to use the whole width of the field. Costa, look at that, streaking through him. Oh, beats four defenders almost, but not quite the last one. He looked like a hot knife through butter. Did, didn't he? Cool D'Amico comes out and clears that one nicely. And it's starting to get a bit more pressure on them now. Starting to find their rhythm too, I think. Yeah. Like, I'm not suggesting this was their plan all along, but it does oh, no, appear no. that Chattanooga was at least a little bit caught off guard when they started to play more aggressively. Yep. Let's see if Costa's got something he can take a shot. Keep holds it, drops it. Ah, Charlie Clark's about to charge. Oh, Santiago Moore about to leap on that one. Nothing happening. That was a good look by Costa, though. That was Charlie. They keep changing places, those guys. <laughs> it was Charlie. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Like you said, they do it so effortlessly. Well, they do. Players. They do. That's right. That's right. So 15 minutes in, still nil-nil. Chattanooga heart and the best of it, but Atlanta trying to get back in the game and uh, look dangerous too. So lots of good soccer ahead here. I'll just say a quick thank you to our sponsor Fox 61 for uh, sponsoring the stream tonight and also uh, Fox Course is your home of the HD Russia World Cup 2018. You can watch all the games in HD on Fox 61 in Chattanooga to all through the World Cup. Again, from Atlanta, but uh, 
still new Aztec there to clear it up. And uh, check the new come forward again. Good tackle. Good tackle. Clean tackle too. Referees let him play go on a lot of these situations, which is good and not calling every little thing that happens. So uh, some of those have been uh, could have been called by the referees. This one's letting them go until they get serious. So she called that one. That's free kick to Chattanooga. So just take it short. Back to Phil D'Amico and uh, they'll build again. playing the patient game here tonight. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Chattanooga's definitely got the lead here in terms of time of possession and quality shots on in, goal. Yeah, and certainly passes and, and possession time, yes they do. And great long ball from Lima. Goes out for a goal kick to Atlanta. Starting the build again, Costa did not get the touch, but gets the ball back. Did not get the right touch that he wanted at all. But, uh, Chandler would get the ball back in defence and uh, yeah, a Damien Gona. Pass intended for Sheriff Sue. It was, wasn't it? And he, he fell over on the on the uh, on the turf, yeah. Put Amika out of the box and a bit under pressure, but Plays it calmly. Charlie Clark fighting for that ball and trying to get through, but uh, the goalkeeper clears it. Referee calling a foul that was away. Those long balls, but Emerson Lima's up to it, and Chattanooga defence not troubled by those at all. The lands are more dangerous when they come down the wings, really, rather than coming down the middle. I think that's where Chattanooga's got to watch them more because they, uh, they they sprint down the wings very fast. And that's, that's probably where they're, why they're going for those long balls yeah, so much. Yeah. So. Cold into the box. Lambda's there to head it away. Back to Valenciano. Hernandez looking up. Santiago Moore in space. Charlie Clark trying to get the overlap. Still Santiago Moore. Chanu keeping the pressure on. Caleb Cole gives it away. Doesn't quite mean to do that, but it, Lambs are trying to break now. But, uh, oh, little collision there. Both players go with the ball. Actually, both miss it, so <laughs> a little unusual. So I think anybody's too badly hurt from that one. So the land to play made contact, so it's a free kick to Chattanooga. It was Denver running into Valenciano there. Mm -hmm. Ball 
Paul Hernandez allowed to push it out. And they're trying to break, but again, Chanu is taking it back off. They're not really getting allowed to a chance to, to break at all right now. Keeping them hemmed in a bit. Especially when they come down the left side, they're always mm -hmm. running into that wall that is Everson Lima. Well, that's it. You think they learn that and go the other way, but then you're not going to get past Saw on either, so. <laughs> I don't have too many good choices at this point. Right. Let's <laughs> pick your poison of those two. Pretty much. Yeah. On board from Menendez, Valenciano trying to bring it down. Oh, nice shot there. What a nice save for Atlanta. It was. Charlie Clark takes the shot, but it's straight to the keeper. He's able to hold it. Charlie Clark stealing it. Keeper manages to make a great save and stop it. Still in play, though. Going for the long ball, but it is a little bit kicked too fast and uh, trying to catch the keeper off his line, but. Uh, not the best shot in the world to do that with. But yeah, a little bit of drama there for Chattanooga. Yeah, but uh, Lannis keeper Teo Blachon. Absolutely. He's doing a great job out there. Again, Charlie Clark, Santiago Moore combining well there. He said they've switched sides. So and Santiago's on the left wing now, and Yao Kofta's coming on this side near us on the right wing. And uh, they're so interchangeable, they can play either side. So uh, they get to see if they got a weak spot on this side and let Costa find it. So and if Atlanta are aware of that change, I guess they won't do if they see him charging down the goal. Right. <laughs> but uh, it makes it hard for a commentator when they keep changing places. <laughs> you to keep the same shirts on. You're just so used to them being in one spot on the field. And well, that's it. And you shouldn't do that. You should expect them to switch around. Because uh, they're versatile players you could use, you know, use them that way. So Santiago Moore receiving that one. That's a beautiful pass. Brings it down. Good control there. That's Charlie Clark. And still in play. And Caleb Cole again. Looking at left wing, long ball. Charlie Clark's there. Oh, Ooh. doesn't quite get the header on target, but makes contact. Nobody threatening him there. A nice strike from Charlie Clark. Almost uh, getting that first goal. So that's uh, I've lost count of how many shots Chattanooga made in the goal so far. But uh, still, only one for Atlanta, but a lot more for Chattanooga. Yeah, and it, it doesn't matter how good Theo Blashon has been. At some point, if you just keep firing away at the goal you're gonna yep. get a few in it's the numbers game partly that's right and then get them trying to come forward Valenciano they're heading it back the land's not be able to get away at all Costa now twisting and turning Caleb Cole plays the dummy but Ah, that didn't quite come off. <laughs> but the Lanza trying to get something going on the far side here. He's got two defenders on him. Good ball. And again, there's that man. Emerson Lima to clear it away to Hernandez. Caleb Cole's got the ball. Back to Hernandez. He's got Clark free in the middle. Can he do something with this? Good defence from Lanza there. And it's like a foul called against Hernandez. They both collided, I think, at the same time, but Hernandez it was, fell into the Atlanta player. And that's a yellow card for... I'm not sure what that's for. Mm. The, uh, the Atlanta player is down. Looks like he was hurt. He may have made contact with his boot, but... Uh, that looks like Kevin Isahaku. Mm -hmm. Hard to say for sure, but I didn't see anything particularly physical in that challenge. It's just two guys going for the ball at the same time, but... I understand the free kick for Atlanta 
Hernandez right. did fall into a Sahaku, but it wasn't intentional. Not really. There's no no pressure or malice on that one. He appears to have taken a knock in the it's like in the stomach or something. Was it the leg? He's been holding a, his right. He's calf. Holding his right calf. So he's uh, they've got the trainer on, so able to take a water break for a minute or two. Everybody can catch their breath on that one. So. Quick thank you to some of our sponsors while we're having a pause here. Thanks to Volkswagen of Chattanooga, the official title sponsor of Chattanooga Football Club. Proud sponsors in Chattanooga since 2009. And also thanks to CHI Memorial, Imagine Better Health. And visit their website at memorial.org. Also we're sponsored by the Centre for Sports Medicine, the official trainers and orthopaedic providers for Chattanooga FC. And Atlantic Capital Bank, the official bank of Chattanooga Football Club. It's like he's being led off. He does appear to be in some pain, so maybe they will sub him out. Bring on some fresh legs. Just like that to you, that, that right leg is bothering him a bit. return to play or not or if they do sub him out right, getting ready to reset and take this free kick it's a Haku still hurt not on the field yet now they're letting him back into play so we'll see how he does and if he He's able to play as before. there gets deflected out Emerson Lima back in the field of Marco's arms but it doesn't count as a back pass that was a deflection it wasn't intentional so uh, it was that's no, a tricky one because it, it was direction it like was that. spinning and yeah but you can see if you'd been a back pass would have been more direct so it was unintentional to flip it back that way so no penalisation for the defenders there for the back pass So, into the 31st minute, still 0-0. And uh, Chattanooga having the best of it so far, but no goal. But certainly the best shots on target and uh, pressure against Atlanta. Way back to throw in your house, Jack. Chattanooga's building from the back again. Looking for that gap. Caleb Cole running into space, trying to keep the ball in play and does. But he goes out even though the ball is in play. So <laughs> Hernandez trying to steal it back. Ball out and a corner of the Chanu. We're off the Atlanta defender. Atlanta protesting that one. Well, they're trying to will it their way just by they pointing. They are a bit and they're pointing and the referee is talk of the linesman and given a goal kick instead but I'm pretty sure that was a good that was a corner to Chattanooga I'm very certain it was it looked like it went off uh -huh. of Aaron Walker number five right right well Atlanta making that substitution number 31 can't continue number 45 comes on in his place number 45 is do we have a name not yet but we'll find one for you <laughs> let's see if it wasn't uh... Trying to 
break here. Trying to make something happen. In space, trying to get the shot off. Proud of that by Chattanooga players. Down in the box. Referee waves play on, no penalty. Atlanta trying to get something out of that and looking for the, the penalty. Chattanooga coming forward. Can Atlanta get back enough people to defend them? Costa on the near side. Who's in there? Hernandez. Oh, steps over the ball instead of hitting it. Man, that was frustrating. Atlanta trying to come through again. Here we go. Try and set them free. Emerson Lima blocks it nicely. Takes full control of that. Doesn't let Atlanta get any space. We don't have a name for number 45 yet, we'll get that surely. Costa trying to get Cole free. Santiago Moore. Clark's in the box. Allowed to get it away, but only as far as Hernandez. <laughs> Damien Gona comes in, takes the shot. Reflected out Caleb Cole on the far side now, trying to make something happen. Feliciano in the middle. Gona. Clark's unmarked over here. Hernandez in the box, trying to find space for a shot. Takes the shot, straight in the keeper's hands. Still loose, ball's loose. Oh, clear off the line by Atlanta. Yes, no. Hernandez pokes the ball in, but the Atlanta defender gets back and hooks it off the goal line. That was a pretty athletic move by them. We do need the, uh, the goal line tech here to see that one cross the line or not, but the referee hasn't given it after checking with the linesman. That was... Uh, very dangerous from Chattanooga. The goalkeeper could not hold that one. And if Chattanooga can capitalise on that and have somebody there to steal the ball away from the goalkeeper's hands, then they could have pitched a goal. That was very tight. Chattanooga fans chanting for the uh, VAR, video assisted referee, but uh, that actually would have been the Hawkeye system getting that one with the goal line tech. That would have called that one. Right. But we haven't got that in this league. We have to rely on good old human eyesight. Version 1.0. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we all know how good that is sometimes. So, but that was very close. Chattanooga very threatening. It's like a lamb to get ready to make another substitution here. Oh, they're moving slow as molasses, so it's hard to see who's coming off and who's coming on. like uh, Ibrahima Sissoko is getting on. Okay. Can't tell who's but who on. is coming off because nobody's moving. <laughs> okay. We have, uh, let's see, who's this? Number two coming off. One of the defenders. So that's two substitutions in the first half. And he leaves Atlanta with one more. So two earlier ones, probably due to injuries and things. So... That does leave them a bit exposed if they get any more injuries in the second half of the game. And number two is Yusuf Shilingo. Okay. Sanchez trying to make that come through. No. Oh. Damien Gona, sorry, not Juan Sanchez. Costa trying to come through traffic. Trying to twist and turn. And gets knocked over. Referee says no foul. Gona again. Setting Costa free. Chattanooga want to make the best of this and get this second, this goal after missing the first one. Charlie Clark stealing it back. Caleb Cole. Into Sanchez. Clark. Cole. Oh, into the keeper's arms. And Caleb Cole holds his head and goes, Why didn't I put that in the corner instead of straight into the keeper's hands? <laughs> Bit of a scramble there, but a good scoring opportunity for Chattanooga. That's two in five minutes. And not to take anything away from Blachon, who's been playing really well as keeper, but they fired some of those shots directly at him. They have, which uh, 
easy at the stop. So, I haven't seen him stretch yet tonight. Not yet. So, when you have Jack fighting on the far side there, back to Lima. And again, stays calm and clears it. Charlie Clark, ducking and diving, trying to get away from his marker. Trying to go faster. Can't do it, slows down, does the dummy. Oh, Santiago Moore has to go past him. Hernandez under control. Luciano. And again, can't quite get the pass through. <laughs> uh, Chattanooga win the throw. Deep in the Atlanta half, still keeping the pressure on. It's got to be uncomfortable for being at Lanza right now. <laughs> right, and actually I think the fact that they missed that goal is what's making the pressure worse because they want they want it so well, bad. Well, that's it. They know they can get it. Caleb Cole, nice touch. Gets away from him, though. Yesterday clears it. But uh, Santi Moore grabs it. Hernandez again in the middle, looking up. Ah, not a great pass. Lanza get that one back. Looked like he tried to do a no-look pass there to throw off the defense. Right. Trying to calm things down at the back a little bit. Costa putting it wide. Oh, hello, Sanchez. What's he going to do? Looking up. Hernandez. And back to Lima. So, trying to even try and find that crack in the defence again and exploit it. <laughs> nice Hernandez. Trying to set Clark free. Not quite coming off. No, set. Santiago Moore free, sorry. So into the 40th minute of play, still 0-0. This will be a good time for Jack New to pinch a goal before half time comes along. Certainly having the lion's share of play right now, which is good to see. But uh, need to make something happen. Costa looking up. That's a great ball. Santiago Moore trying to get it in, wins the corner. This could be Chattanooga's chance to do something. And Theo Bouchon, the keeper for Atlanta, throwing his arms up in the air like, where's the help? Right, he's like, where is my defense? Caleb Cole over the ball in the corner. Everybody from Chattanooga up just about. See what he's got. Going long. Yep, in the box. Oh, and the keeper's there. Good save by the keeper. He read that one well and uh, plucked it out of the air, as they say. Like a dying swallow. Around <laughs> <laughs> to get to breathe again. So the clearance again back to Chattanooga. And there's this. Trying to come through a different direction. Atlanta still spending a lot of time in their own half. Charlie Clark and Acosta. They switch sides again. Costa's on the far side. And uh, Santi Moore on this side near us again. They keep changing sides. <laughs> Out for a goal kick to Atlanta. No, free kick to Atlanta. For that one.
it took forever. Wait. Number 45 is Theory Jules. Okay. Fernandez trying to find someone again. That pass not connecting. He's got to be frustrated with that. His passes are not doing what they normally do and connecting. Lattner trying to set them off. Here we go. D'Amico. Oh, and that's that goal. Lanta pinched the goal. Look at that. Out of nothing, Lanta get the goal. Wow. Now that's number 45, Thierry Jules. Yeah, we just figured out He's who the was. magic man. Figured out who he was, he scores the goal. A nice little steal there. Used yeah. his speed and lobbed it over the keeper. 1-0. Extra frustrating if you're Hernandez. The passes that you normally make aren't going through. Right, right. And you already have... Uh, a guy like Jules is very quick behind the defense by the time anybody can even react to him being there. Mm -hmm. He's well ahead of everybody and it's a one-on-one -on -one and, well, most yep. forwards will win that one. Well, that's it. So, uh, Land to get the advantage going into, into halftime there. And uh, see if Chattanooga got a reply in the box for that one. And can come out and uh, get one back. But actually, that was totally against the run of play, Keon. Did not expect that. No. So, uh, good for Atlanta to do that, but uh, means Chattanooga have got to work a bit harder. So, I certainly don't want to lose a game at home. And I don't think you panic here if you're Chattanooga. You've been playing so well all day. Mm -hmm. Well, you keep doing what you've been doing, but just focus on putting in the net instead of in the keeper's arms, I think, is the main thing. Sanchez into the box. Clark can't quite get it, and Atlanta head it out for a throw-in. So Chattanooga immediately putting the pressure back on. Feliciano in the box, Costa, oh, just past the post. Got the head on it, unmarked, and just could not get it in the goal. And it's interesting what a goal will do for a team because mm -hmm. scoring now, Atlanta's defense seems to have come to life as well. Right. Yeah, first goal always makes a difference in any game, and this one's certainly no exception. And uh, referee calling a foul there. Once well with Valenciana. Getting a free kick in the centre circle, taking their time on this one, not rushing. Deep into the box. Trying to come away with it, but uh, cleared away nicely. It's Chattanooga chance to come back and break out. And with a throw on the far side. Goes to Atlanta. Stopping the motion on the far side. Atlanta trying to get through, but again, outnumbered there. Shebang there trying to set off uh, Jules again on the second run. Ball out again, another throw for Atlanta. Should be a minute or two of extra time for the uh, stoppage for the injury and the water break. Not too much time, I don't think, added on there. Crowd on their feet trying to get Chattanooga to come back and score again. Lima there, the header pushed it away for a corner. Land the turn and screw a little bit here at the end of the first half. Yeah, it looks like that goal gave them. Momentum. Some kind of energy. Something. Yeah. It gave him something. Ooh, the Chattanooga fans hoping it gave him a nasty little rash, but maybe it just gave him encouragement instead of a, a nasty rash. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So Estes over the ball for Ranta. Just going to be the last kick of the game almost. And another chance for Atlanta goes straight over the bar. Like one of those World Cup shots we've seen as many of this week. Straight over the bar from close range. Right. So Chattanooga come away. They got time to get an equalizer for half time. to D'Amico there and Chattanooga trying to come forward again I think Atlanta kind of waiting for that half try and whistle Chattanooga not quitting at all and wanting to come forward and get something out of this before half time long ball for Valenciana Costa and that's the half time whistle so we go into the locker rooms and 1-0 to Atlanta totally against the run of play quite an interesting first half because Chattanooga are all over them had lots of scoring chances, a ball cleared off the line, and then out of nowhere, Atlanta nick a goal. So, uh, plenty of drama. Plenty of drama. So, we'll take a break for 15 minutes, folks, and uh, we'll be back. So, grab yourself a cup of tea and a biscuit, and uh, we'll be right here when you come back. So, uh, don't go away. 1 0 to Atlanta. Let's see what channel you've got in response. Don't go away. Back real soon. The 2018 FIFA World Cup continues tomorrow on Fox and FS1.
All right, folks, come back from the kitchen, get back on the couch. Chattanooga FC is getting ready to kick off the second half against the Atlanta Silverbacks. We've been here all the time talking about the game and uh, talked to one of the photographers who was down in the field in the break, and he said that uh, ball cleared off the line, did not cross the line in the Atlanta goal. It was super close, but it did not get all the way across, so they were very athletic to get to it and to, uh, to clear that one away. So. Uh, a little bit of drama there for Chattanooga FC, hoping they'll capitalise on that and get a goal. They've been so close to scoring, let's hope they can make it happen in the second half. So, Atlanta enjoying that lead while they went into the locker room. And now they're uh, getting ready to start up in a minute. And they're uh, waiting to see if there are any substitutions coming up. Haven't seen any yet. Atlanta have a uh, spare goalkeeper waiting to come on, so they might be changing goalkeepers. I think they are. So the goalkeeper has got a number on his back, so we'll have to call him Mr. Green until we find out his name. <laughs> but uh, at this point in time, um, we'll call him Mr. Green. How about that? So my guess is that it would be Bryce Billington. He's Bryce the only other Billington. Goalkeeper it must be Bryce time. Billington. Mr. Billington it is. Okay. So. Chattanooga sticking with it looks like the same formation as before although they have got Felipe Oliveira and Zeca and Luke Winter on the bench so uh, I expect coach Bill will get one of those gentlemen out and about and uh, get them on the field pretty soon but uh, for now Chattanooga playing with the same formation from right to left and they are away for the second half hopefully they've had a good talk in the locker room they're ready to score that goal and uh, get themselves back in the game. Lamp is looking a bit more confident after that goal too. They must have had a real confidence boost from that. So they're looking a bit more, more lively. Yeah, I mean, it, it really wakes you up. It looked like they were kind of losing touch with the game up until that point. 
Um, just you're, you're mm -hmm. disheartened. You, you don't really have the ball much. You're not really getting many shots on goal. But a goal gives you the feeling that, you know, you really can win. That's it. That's right. So well, that's, yeah, that's the kind of good drilling and training a team does with even when they're not having the best of it, they still play well. Caleb Cole coming in for that one. Costa trying to retrieve the pass, but allow him to getting it back again. Defence stepping up here and uh, keeping out of control. Edison Lima bringing it forward, almost the halfway line. Picking his spot to Hernandez. He has check. Sanchez. Back to you, has check. A lot of options there, trying to decide where to put it. <laughs> Good ball, Caleb Cole, the left wing. Cole puts it in. Oh, and the goalkeeper's right on it. Santi Moore was charging in for that one. Just a half step late. If he'd Absolutely. been there just a little bit earlier, he'd have been able to punch that one to the back of the net. That's right. So, quick hello to a couple of chat hoogans who are watching at home tonight and can't be here. Hello to Matthew Weir. Hello to Bev McDaris watching in Florida. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying the stream tonight, folks. And also a quick hello to Greta in Chattanooga who's ill and can't be at the game tonight. So hi, Greta. And is ducking and diving again, Sanchez. Put the ball back in space through traffic. Right across the field again. Maybe a nice flick, not enough on it to set Charlie Clark off. Throw the Chattanooga on the far side, what can they do with this? a bit long and nobody gets hold of that one apart from Atlanta. Sanchez pressurising Atlanta. And to give it away to Hernandez. Atlanta's still not clearing it properly. Sanchez, nice little chip in there to Costa. Stolen the ball away at the last second. What a nice little touch there from Sanchez. Yeah, and Sanchez a little bit frustrated because he knew it was a good one too. It was and Cole just couldn't quite get on the end of it. And again, Hernandez giving the ball away too easily. I think that's those tired legs talking again. It's very possible. It could be. He's run himself to death the last couple of games we've had. So, trying to set Sanchez off your miscommunication, and that one trickles out for a goal kick. So, at this stage, I'd just like to thank our, uh, our stream sponsors Fox 61, WDSI Chattanooga. Thank you for sponsoring the stream. And don't forget, Fox 61 is your station to watch the entire. 2018 Russia World Cup on. Every game in high definition, live from Russia. then not really go anywhere allowed to hoof it back so D'Amico says thank you and grabs it drives Chattanooga forward from the back once again Costa in and out the players look at him go twisting and turning and couldn't quite get the connection there but Chattanooga get the ball again in the box and deflected out for a throw in Get him coming on that one. He'll get the corner. Okay, 
Taylor, Cole in the corner again. Probably going to play it deep. Yep, going deep. And to get it away, only as far as Santi Moore. Plays it across to Hernandez, chips it up. Lima's there, still Lima. Oh, he lobs it over the top of the bar. But uh, pretty close stuff. Now the referee stops play for the injured defender, which let Chattanooga have the advantage there. And the train is coming on. Let's see uh, how bad the damage is. Hopefully not too bad. Looks like it's Isahaku again. He was uh, the one that went down earlier. I think it is. Midfield. I think he's been hit, hit twice in the same place. And he re-entered the game. He does. Yeah, he's got a knock on the back of the head. Complaint the referee about it. Claims that he was fouled in the box. Quite the crowd there. Oh, Luke Witness having a word. Yeah, they're not happy at all there. They're not happy that the referee's not taking any action about it. So, uh, Kevin Isahaku not happy there at all. Sorry. getting treated off the field while that's going on. That's about 10 men while that goes on. And Lance putting the ball back in the play. Trying to get the ball back, but long shot to Costa. Costa's trying to get away from his de defender. Almost does so. And Sanchez to Caleb Cole. Cole looking up, trying to find the player free. Hernandez. Cross. Gaona. Trying to get that cross in, but Caleb Cole retrieves the deflection. Going for that give and go on it. Doesn't get it. Trying to get something going here in the, in the Atlanta box, but uh, Atlanta's just packing it in back. Fizzles there. out, yeah. They can't get them to, to, to go because Atlanta got so many men back behind the ball. There isn't really space to get a pass in. And the two on four defenders trying to get something going. A tackle there. We're on the edge of the box and the referee's putting a yellow card out on that one. He's right, she's putting the card with Emerson Lima. It's a dangerous spot too. It was a dangerous spot and it was a good break for Atlanta. So Chattanooga have to defend just outside the 18-yard box, always a place where strikers like to have a go at the goal. Shot. Oh, nice shot just over the bar. Well taken, but uh, comes nothing in the end, thank goodness. <laughs> so, Chattanooga lived to fight another day on that one. Yeah, they'll get away with that one. What do you think that Chattanooga has to do to turn some of these shots on goal into actual goals? Because they've had so many. They've just got to focus on putting the ball in the right spot, not putting it in, into the keeper's arms. And uh, they've got an overlap, somebody's unmarked, 
pass it instead of shooting, let them just take a clear shot. So uh, there's, uh, there's some good play, a lot of opportunities, just not making the best of it. Lance coming forward again. Well played. Little D'Amico sure. has to pop out and grab that one. And uh, Emerson Lee are bringing Chattanooga forward. So, but yeah, they just got to focus on those shots and make sure they count each one instead of uh, hitting it in the general goal here. They got to pick a spot and put it right there. Costa trying to grab his man and struck it. And then a foul right behind that one, Caleb Cole. So two fouls back to back, which one's the referee going to pick? Yeah, the second one looked like an NFL tackle. It did, didn't it? That was a body charge rather than a football tackle. <laughs> There's the yellow card. So first yellow card for uh, Abraham Lansana from uh, Atlanta. Atlanta get their first yellow. Chattanooga had a free kick that looked nearly mm. identical to this one in the first half and they nearly scored on it. The header went wide, so we'll see what happens here. Right. Hernandez deep into the box. Lima, but Atlanta powered away. Caleb Cole gets ahead on it. Atlanta push out again. Still with Chattanooga. Back into the box. Straight to Atlanta defenders' feet. And they say thank you and get rid of it. Sanchez all the way back to D'Amico. Chattanooga chance to reset. Several chances there again. Atlanta first to the ball each time. That's really what's uh, doing them so much good right now is being first to the ball. Again, Caleb Cole on the loose on his own. There were no support. What's he going to do? Goes back. Chattanooga into the box, deep in the box. Oh, what a great save. Wow, great shot, but that was a better save. It really was. Charlie Clark right on the end of that one. No, nobody on him. Plenty of space to make the header, but straight into the keeper's arms. So, uh, but Billington had to die for that one. He did have to move a little bit, but uh, good play. Good play by Charlie Clark. He got into space. Costa again trying to come forward. Valenciano looking up. Who's he got? And Andy's in the middle. Chattanooga again in the box, and the keeper's first to it. I think Atlanta are just anticipating the ball better right now, Keel. That seems to be what's going on. That is part of it, yes. I'd say a very big part of it. Chattanooga get a long ball a bit too much there for Sandy Moore. And out for a goal kick to Atlanta as we come into the uh, into the 60th minute of play and still won the to Atlanta Chattanooga banging on the door for that extra goal I got a feeling it's coming but uh, hopefully before the whistle blows <laughs> not, not after those ones that don't count after the whistle blows yeah that's what you'd prefer absolutely so would everybody in the crowd tonight here we go People keep coming in. I think we've got at least 3,000 or 3,500 here tonight, too. It's a good crowd on a warm, warm June night in Chattanooga. Not many better ways to spend a warm June night than watching soccer, to be honest. in space is he going to shoot and try and feed the ball up in the cross Clark oh over the bar Charlie Clark is getting on those and not finishing them but he's getting on the end of those balls wow that was so close and I will say this headers are tough they're real tough they are no doubt about that I wouldn't argue Damien going in the 
getting that one fed forward and uh, Charlie Clark's getting the space. They're not marking him very well. And Chattanooga keeps feeding him, so I mean, you have to think at some point he'll get it's, through. It's, it's got to happen, yeah. Chattanooga's certainly not quitting, showing any signs of uh, losing their, their desire to score a goal. Well, they've held the ball for so long in this game. Like, I think they still feel they're the better team. And mm -hmm. honestly, that goal by Atlanta was a surprise to even Atlanta. So, <laughs> it could be. You know, you're Chattanooga. There's no reason to panic and, and certainly no reason to back down just yet. Costa again trying to flick it through and uh, didn't quite get it. Didn't have to clear it. Valenciano brings it down only into as far as the Atlanta defense. So to try and make something happen again. So we've got a pause for a substitution. Um, number 11 coming on for Chattanooga. Felipe Oliveira. Yeah. Checking in. Santiago Moore's off. Felipe Oliveira is on, our proven goal scorer. Let's see what Pipe's got in him together tonight, if he's got another goal waiting there in his boots. I suspect he might have. The referee doesn't call the foul there, allowed to try to break. Mr. Lima steams in and gets rid of that one. And the ball goes out. Plenty of players warming up down there. I've seen uh, Zecker and Luke Winter warming up for Chattanooga. And you have all of these talented guys coming to the game this late. It's a it's a shot in the arm, and yeah, Bill Elliott is. likes to do that a lot. That's it. And I see Cameron Woodfin down there. Stephen Ricketts there waiting to come on. So again, nice overlap from Atlanta. They get to do something with this. No, way back. Way back and over to the, uh, the grassy knoll at the back of the stadium. Those passes connect. A little bit of a breakdown there, still not getting that last pass in. And they win a throw down towards the 18 yard box, so so they make something happen with that. Yeah, the Lantern have really woken up and they're moving fast now. When the ball comes to their end, they're just all over it. And like you said, anticipating passes. That's what they're doing. They're doing it. They weren't doing it in the first half, now they really are doing it well. Says fighting for the ball over there and uh, Chattanooga getting the throw on the far side. Steaming forward again, which I know they're trying to make them do something strong here. Valenciano out to Cole. Round his mark into the box. Clark's there. Oh, and Oliveira gets his first shot. And he hits it over the bar. Just too, too much. Everybody's hitting it over the bar. It's like the World Cup. We've had so many balls over the bar in the World Cup from close in, and we're doing it again tonight. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was 
I guess when you have your first shot at it, you, you just... Uh, it's that the, tension the trying tension to get, get that goal. Far. It just it, it gets to people. And now substitution. Looks like Luke Winter coming on. And we had a Charlie Clark coming off. It looks like Gabriel's coming into the game as well. Number 22. All right. Hernandez Gabriel. off. Gabriel Biello. Okay, Gabriel Biala is coming on. It's kind of fuzzy. Okay. Chattanooga straight in the attack again. Chattanooga can do with some fresh legs. It's three substitutes in ten minutes, so that's what we got going on. We're there again, teasing the defence here. Still trying to get it across, and uh, wins the corner. So good play from Felipe Oliveira there. Played pretty well today, but on the corners are where he's been brilliant. He's, he has been good, yeah. Had some very playable balls that he's kicked in. He there. has, yeah. The Chattanooga players up in the box, Winter hovering over the penalty spot. And again, Atlanta pushing away. First the ball, just wanting it the most, I guess. Trying to come down that left wing. Two on one. Here they go. And again, a good tackle. Sanchez again, referee says clean and play goes on. Good tackle in a dangerous position. Chattanooga back on the attack. Bello called for handball there. Gabriel Bello. Gonzalez Bello, it is Bello. No I right. We've got a fuzzy team sheet folks, bear with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pam's taking through on the far side. Estes trying to drive the attackers up down the line. Going for that long throw. goes out. Chattanooga's favour, give him a free kick. Lemur on the ball, take the short. Chattanooga putting the pressure on here, you think something's got to give when they keep putting on this much pressure here. Something's got to go their way. Yeah, you'd think so, but you know, we talked about it in, in a few other games. Sometimes you get those bounces and sometimes you don't. The bounces haven't been going their way today. It's true. You know, you hope the soccer gods will give you something, but... You would, wouldn't you? Foster again, into the box. Just muscled out of the way, another corner given away by Atlanta. Cross is really giving those defenders a hard time. He is. I mean, he's not a guy that you can mark with just one person, and they seem content to do that. And yeah. He's going to keep it. pushing it in there until they do something else. Cole again. Hitting the far side of the 60 yard box, still not cleared. Chattanooga with the ball, but again, Atlanta get it back. Trying to make that fast break again. Great defense in transition by Chattanooga. It was, wasn't it? That was very good. Okay, they've called the ball now. Valenciano overlapping, and he makes a complete fluff of that one. And uh, back into Atlanta for a goal kick. Well, 
the 70th minute, folks. Still one out to to Atlanta. So uh, 20 minutes of regulation play to go. Chattanooga pushing for that, that equaliser. Finding it a bit elusive at the moment, I have to say. They're pushing off the ball there. Referee, let's play go on. Lima sets winter free. It's just a bit too much for him. Box. Cole free. Caleb Cole. There it Got is. It. Equalizer. There it is. 72nd minute. Caleb Cole. Whoa. You had to wonder when the pressure was eventually going to add That's up. That's what we were saying, Keon. It's got to happen. Caleb Cole has not scored for Chattanooga for a long time. At least two seasons. So I know he's thrilled with that one. He's and he was so close. He deserves it. He, he played really, really well today. Stay calm, under pressure, just put it right past the keeper where he's supposed to put it. Excellent. One all. We've got a game on now. And the Chatter Hooligans are back to life. They're very excited. Those flags are flying and they're very excited. They'll probably break some more drum skins tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> They're pretty good at doing that. Chanting your name. Let's go if you make Caleb feel good when they're chanting your name too after that. So Chattanooga trying to come forward. Now looking for the winner, not the equalizer. This is a different uh, different kind of goal. No, it's uh, really nice to see one go in. I mean now you now you don't have to think about it so much. You can just right. play a little bit loose. It looked like That's they were overthinking it. some of those shots. It's quite possible they were. I mean the longer you go without getting an equalizer, the more pressure's on you mentally and you just feel like you're not playing right that was uh, that overcomes it nicely whoops Venciano trying to set Costa free and yeah, ends up going over the bench over the bench head first but he survives and he's back on the field that must have been an exciting little trip now with Atlanta come forward well they start risking it a bit more trying to get the winner and expose themselves at the back trying to come forward to get the shot and again oh nicely taken but over the bar Good shot there. That's uh, shot by Jabang Yang. again. Yep. Jabang again. Yeah, he's he's been danger man all night. He might be the fastest man on the field, which is he may be. He is quick when he gets going. Yeah, and it's a crazy thing to say when you've got a guy like Costa on the field who usually right. is the fastest guy. He usually is. Yes. <laughs> all right. Another substitution for Atlanta. It's just like two of them coming on. Number nine and number five coming on. Alexandra Silva is number nine, and number five is Aaron Walker. They are Lanterns that are taking off their strikers, so they have new strikers coming on. Let's see who it is. Number six coming off. Cabademba coming off. Chattanooga taking off Caleb Cole. And uh, bringing on Cameron Woodfin in his place. Yeah. Talked to Cam before the game and he was very keen to get on the score sheet tonight. So let's see if he can make that happen. Cost is indicating he wants to come off too. Let's see if he uh, gets that wish or not. It's 
well cleared by Chattanooga there. Here we go, Costa. Wardsman streaking down the fetch. Here he goes. Here he goes. There goes Cam. Full tilt. Toilet era. Woodfin again. Can he get it? No, oh, I can't quite keep it in. Nice little overlap there. And who ready to bring on Stephen Rocker? Lands are streaking away, They're not going to reach that one, and it's out for a Chattanooga goal kick. So Chattanooga waiting to make the substitution here. Who is coming off for Rocker? It is number 21, Damien Gona coming off for Stephen Rocker. So, Damien Gona's won very hard and it's like he's. Uh, Looks like he's cramping. Holding his, yeah, just holding his knee, so. so Chattanooga, these fresh legs, Chattanooga got if they can make something happen here in the. Uh, last uh, 12 or so minutes of the game a lot of drama tonight now one apiece 12 minutes to go for a while Atlanta was confident just to hang back there and right they can't now well, they can't want to draw, but I guess they want to win. <laughs> I, I assume they want to win too. I'd assume as well they, they came all this way. They like to find the standings, <laughs> and, and so yeah. <laughs> Though in fairness, Atlanta's not as long a trip as some uh, some other Indeed teams have to travel. Indeed, no, no, it's one of the better journeys that uh, I've made several times. We'll make again in the future. Good move. Good move there. Referee ways play on. Woodfin. Trying to find space for a shot, can't make it. Pushed out across the box. Back to Oliveira. Trying to find that space to get a shot in, but Alantra keeping it blocked. Chanu getting a shot in. One of you, yes, here it is. One of you. Here we are all trying to have a go. It's great patience by Costa to make that pass. And Valenciano is the man with the final touch. In the uh, 79th minute, Costa could have fired it himself, but he waited for the goalie to come out, and then he passed it to Valenciano, and I thought that was very smart. He was, I'm not sure Valenciano was ready for that, and he almost, <laughs> almost didn't get hold of it, but he did. And we have the lead at 2-1, the Chattanooga FC. They're uh, claiming that one for Costa. I thought Valenciano got the touch. He announced to say that Costa got it. I will check on the replay on that one later on and see who it was. But, yeah, uh, I saw Costa make the pass. I saw him make the pass too. Valenciano touch it in, but uh, the replay will show what happened. Well, that is exciting. All right, don't forget, you want exciting soccer during the World Cup? Don't forget to put on Fox 61 WDSI in Chattanooga, bringing you all the games in the World Cup. Nearly as much excitement as watching that goal in Chattanooga win, but... Uh, so the World Cup's pretty exciting too, so go to Fox 61 WDSI and make sure you see every game live from Russia. And after you watch a few of those games on Fox 61, come on out Saturday night. Chattanooga FC will be right back here at Finley Stadium. Yes, we will. Playing the Georgia Revolution. Come on down and see us. Absolutely. Don't sit on the couch watching TV. Well, until the game's over, then come down. <laughs> And a little bit of a tussle there. Referees having to step in and have a word. And it's a yellow and card. And a yellow card. Which I, I think that's a justified yellow card. It looked like his, his cleats were up when he came in for that, for that tackle. Which they will call every time. Well, they usually do. So 
Bello uh, comes on and gets a yellow card to match his boots, which is uh, unfortunate, but it was rather of a tussle. So, yeah, and Bello checking to make sure that it was. Uh, make sure the referee spelled his name right in the book. Lansano <laughs> was the one that he, he collided with and right. checked to make sure he was okay. He knew. Oh, yeah. He did. So. The Chatter Hooligans never agree, but that's their job. Well, of course not. That's what they're there for. <laughs> <laughs> so, back in the play, you have Jack playing it along. Deep in the Atlanta half. And running out of time to get an answer. Can they answer with another goal or not? The Chattanooga not going to give them the time to do it. They really are outnumbered here in the Chattanooga defence. Uh, Oliver there all the way back there to clear that one. Throw to Atlanta, they take it quickly. They're trying to build, now they're all filling up the Chattanooga half. Trying to make uh, Chattanooga walk under pressure. And uh, hoofed away. <laughs> Costa's going to try and run this one Costa's down. Costa's right down and see what Costa's got with his speed and his skill because he is able to get away but the Atlanta defenders way up to it clears the ball well played there and Isahaku slowed down because he didn't see Costa coming and yeah Costa wasn't even in the same zip code he, when was it was a, in the air he wasn't that was a good good tackle a good clearance that bought Atlanta some time on that one so Chanuga taking uh, a throw it'll be a long win at the box Chattanooga pushing it down to half. Bello looking to, uh, to winter, but uh, keeps the end of that one and picks it up. Billington says thank you and goes on. Now it lands it with a deep ball. Grass check away. Nobody watching the clock in the stadium here. Nice touch. Calm under pressure again. Winter holding him off and while Winter gets fouled by number nine, who've been jonesing for a foul most of the evening, so he finally gets one given against him. So but Luke Winter and experienced like, enough to not to respond to that and just right. let it go. Because it looked like Luke Winter was in the process of being fouled the entire time he possessed he the ball. He actually was about three or four times and finally the last one he went down, but uh, Luke's such an experienced player that he's not gonna give it all if he absolutely has to. So. Atlanta's going to have to put back, put down more pressure than that. Here it comes. DeMarco clearing it. Tennis tonight, Keon. We had uh, 3,176 folks come out to see this game tonight. Good numbers, especially not, for a Wednesday. Not bad at all. Here's Costa again, teasing the defense. It's open. There's a guy. Oh, there. Three. There is. Oh, a chip from Costa. Luke Winter. There he is again. Finds the goal in. 85th minute. Cracking little pass, the bend on it from De from Costa. I almost said Diego Costa, from Yao Costa. Luke Winter was reading it and ahead of it, said thank you, and push it right in the back of the net. Doing what he does best. 3 1, Chattanooga FC. As they say, winter is coming. Yet again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Even though it's June. <laughs> really puts that on the back foot now after throwing away a one goal lead and going down 3-1 that's uh, not going to feel good for them at all but, uh, but that will put Chattanooga on top of the table tonight which is a good place to be still not done Bello setting Costa off Costa streaking it in the box Costa going for the shot yes no oh no bounce off the keeper and deflected into the corner 
of the outside corner of the net, not in the corner. Wait, did that go in? It looked like it bounced off the side of it the net. the side netting, that's not a goal. But I, I think... What? That's a goal. Oh, that did not... I think the net sh was shaking. Wait, the net? And Costa went, thought that he scored. I thought it went through the net, but it didn't. Again, that's one for the replay, folks. I thought it hit the outside of the goal. In the A-frame. Costa thinks he scored, so he no thinks one, he scored. I no one tell him. I won't say I'm different, but that looked like it hit the A-frame. And... Gal Costa, they're giving him a goal, so oh. it's number four. All right. I thought that deflected out and went off the outside of the frame. It looked like one of those goals where you think, oh, that's a goal, but it must have gone right through the net. We don't have a perfect angle, folks. We will watch that replay later on, folks. You can watch that and debate it at home. 4-1 to Chattanooga from 1-0 down. This is the sign of a team with uh, great depth and uh, no quitting them. No, no defeat known. What is defeat? We don't know. Look and at this. Bill Elliott. Yeah. Really reaching deep late in the game. And Absolutely. Like it looked like he might have waited a little too long before he... he well, I wasn't sure about that. His players. And then... You know, in comes super subs. Very good. So, yeah, 4 1. Great for Chattanooga's goal difference, too. Always a good thing to have that goal difference going in when it can decide um, a league position. So, uh, 4 1 Chattanooga FC, three minutes to regulation to play. Well, so, D'Amico trying to waste as much time as humanly possible. Of course. <laughs> I'm going to watch out on the replay and see what happened because that was uh, from this angle it was deceptive but uh, I out a goal every day, every day of the week I never complain about that no so, uh, Lambton no. probably We're not going to get three goals back in three minutes unless they are Cristiano Ronaldo times 11 but uh, Chattanooga might push her one more <laughs> who knows this is what rejuvenates tired legs as well as you see any sport when you come up on top like this mm -hmm. suddenly there's extra energy you didn't know you had <laughs> it just it just feels better when you're winning well that's it it's why we love soccer isn't it <laughs> Lanta going to get the shot again over the bar and the chance of D'Amico to run the clock down a bit there Well, if you want to see more of this action like this, folks, in person, come down Saturday night, 7.30, and we'll be hosting George Revolution, and they'll be here to uh, play Chattanooga FC in the next game. So uh, if you're enjoying the stream, trust me, it's ten times better in person. to coach a little less animated than he was at the start of the game he's doing quite a lot of dancing around and now he's uh, impersonating the statue but that's what you would expect I guess they get a long ball Chattanooga defense still up to it clearing it away lands are trying to put pressure in but uh, seconds are running out of them We shouldn't have too much, too much stoppage time coming up here. I don't think so. Maybe a minute or two. Not a whole lot. The only hold up was that injury in the uh, in the penalty box. You know, the player had to be treated. So, uh, Bellow there heading it away, giving it to a corner. But, uh, at this stage, not too concerned about that because uh, the game's in the bag. So we're going to have uh, three minutes. D'Amico there pushing it away. Three minutes of extra time on top of the 90 minutes. So the clock will stop on the uh, scoreboard, but the referee will keep the time on the field and she will have complete control when that final whistle blows. But uh, not long. Certainly not enough time to get three goals unless you are amazingly talented. 
and D'Amico grabs up the deflection and there's a little bit of argy-bargy in the box the Atlanta players claim they were pushed a bit of a last ditch attempt there to uh, get a penalty the referee's not uh, not interested really and tells them to stop it and it's Kevin Isahaku who's upset again for the second time and saving him actually a little bit is Juan Sanchez walked him away from the official initially right yeah he's uh, not been the happiest person tonight so Chattanooga will take a free kick Phil D'Amico will uh, go slow a touch that long probing ball and uh, foul given there against the Chattanooga at the uh, defense climbing on the Atlanta attacker of course everyone wants to discuss this with the referee at the last possible minute they can so she is center of attention for all the wrong reasons <laughs> right <laughs> so a lot of tired legs up there tonight too of course so no reason in a big rush to do anything about this. So it just winds the clock down a bit more. Still not got a reading position yet for the free kick. Referee's trying to marshal the defence back 10 yards and get everybody ready to do what they're supposed to do. We have one of those 22 men walls just about, which is huge. But <laughs> <laughs> Every time you can play on the wall. Well, that's what happens when it happens this late in the well, game. Well, that's it. Well, Atlanta going for the shot. Oh, good save. D'Amico away. Atlanta getting the rebound. And Lima. And Lima. Strong man of the defence. Pushed away, out of danger. But a good shot from Atlanta. Tamika able to punch it away. And that's it. Referee blows full time. That's the game, folks. That's the match. 4-1 to Chattanooga FC. Quite a turnaround after being 1-0 down. And for so long, too. We got all the way to the 70th minute before we did. anybody from Chattanooga Until scored. That, that equalized from Caleb Cole in the 72nd minute. And then the floodgates opened within 15 minutes of that. Chattanooga scored four goals. It's nuts. It's, it's an incredible <laughs> turnaround. It is, it is pretty brilliant. From, yeah, all the way through down that far. So all credit to Chattanooga with tired legs and being on the road. Come home to a good win after uh, all those results on the road. That should put Chattanooga nicely on top of the table. Um, at least the next couple of days. The other results come in tomorrow night and the next Saturday. At, uh, a great game so yeah Terry Jules with that opener out of the blue against runner play in 42nd minute and uh, answered by Caleb Cole in the 72nd minute to make it one all and then after that bam 79 minutes in Daniel Valenciano 2-1 bam 85th minute Luke Winter with that lovely feed from Jao Costa and then in the 87th minute Jao Costa himself with that goal that sneaked in at the corner and uh, made it 4-1 excellent play hope you enjoyed it at home don't forget if you've got the chance to come down Saturday come down we need you here in the stadium to cheer the boys in blue on once again against the Georgia Revolution so uh, very enjoyable game everybody's in a good mood tired legs but happy faces <laughs> absolutely so good stuff there so uh we're going to sign off and leave you watching the players celebrating. Thank you for watching the stream. Again, sponsored by Fox 61 WSI Chattanooga. Thank you to them for bringing us this soccer and the World Cup from Russia too. Just a little bit further than Chattanooga, but we appreciate them bringing us all those games in identity definition. And uh, we're going to sign off. Uh, Keelan, last words. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, Chattanooga had, they played like the better team for the entire game. They just weren't scoring, but finally when they were able to, everything opened up for them, and this momentum should carry them into Saturday when they play Georgia. Absolutely. They, uh, once the, uh, the the taps opened, the water kept pouring, and it just went bam, 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 and goal, goal, goal. It was lovely. So very enjoyable to watch that and have a good result at home in front of the big home crowd, and uh, that's really what it's all about. That's why we love watching soccer. So I'll say good night. Good night from me, Simon Neal. Good night from Keon Rose and the rest of the team here at Chattanooga SC live stream. Thanks for watching. Back here at the same time, same place on Saturday against Georgia Revolution. Until then, enjoy the World Cup and uh, look forward to seeing you all here in person in the stadium Saturday night. From us, good night. Good night. coverage of the 2018 FIFA World Cup continues tomorrow on Fox and FS1.